Hello, this is Patola from Maker Linux. I'm here to present some productive tools you can use to improve your 3D printed part finishing. The first one I would like to present is the deburring tool used by wood carvers. It is especially suit suited for most types of rough edges, like when you printed with brim and it hadn't come off completely. It is cheap to buy, about $20, and usually comes with many easily replaceable spare tips, even though they do not wear off quickly. Of course, you can use a precision knife or other blades, but they are cumbersome and dangerous. This deburring tool has a curved tip that resists hurting your skin, and you can guide the freely rotating tip with your thumb along the curvature. See, the V-shaped blade doesn't cut my finger when I touch it. This way, you can just pull and cut and finish the part very quickly. It might look like a single purpose tool, but it is very competent for the task to which it is assigned. You will love if you print several parts per day, saves a lot of time. Just a little more edge to trim and I'll be done here. See, very fast and no cut fingers. The second tool I like to present is an alternative for the rather popular Kickstarter project Retouch 3D. Have you ever used a soldering iron for melting the plastic where it was really difficult to cut? Even at the cost of wasting its tip since it was a cheap iron. These people took this idea a step further and built a device which heated to high temperatures but had tips adequate for finishing 3D printed parts. Problem is, the device is somewhat expensive, $150, and it is currently available for pre-orders only. So it will take a while to get it in your hands. I do not want to diminish these guys' contributions. It is a fantastic idea and they deserve all the money for making it real. Please buy it if you have the money. But I do live in a developing country and this kind of device takes a long time to arrive here and costs almost triple in taxes for us. So I am hard pressed to find an alternative and an alternative are found. There is a kind of machinery used by prostodontists which is very much like the Retouch 3D. And it is sold very cheap from China, the dental wax carving station. Although the temperature it reaches is not very high, 200 Celsius, it is very workable with 3D printing plastics. It also has an assortment of replaceable tips just like the Retouch 3D. I just designed a custom case for the Toradex Iris development board. I need to enlarge this hole, it's the power connector. While I finish the case, let me tell you the story. The customer lives far away from me and I do not have this board. But I used the 3D model from the Toradex site and modeled, printed and shipped to him. He then noticed the power connector hole size was not quite right and opened a bug report for the power connector hole size just like so a software bug. He opened it in the GitHub bug tractor since I host my projects in GitHub. It is worth mentioning that he paid for this design, so the rights were his. But he was nice enough to let me share the design publicly with a free license. I fixed the hole on the model, committed to GitHub, and closed the bug entry. And since I had a previous iteration of the case already printed, I decided to physically replicate the fix on it. I am doing things slowly and patiently, but the video is accelerated so I don't bore you. I don't want to rush because that would spread the molten plastic. Like wax carving itself, there is a bit of an art on it and individual talent weighs a lot on how well it gets. And as you can see, I am still terrible at it. This is just a small example for fixing a hole, but there is a lot of other carving work you can do on 3D prints. Nice points about this technique, the plastic does not get stuck to the tip and even if it does, after it hardens, it detaches quite easily. I am also using my deburring tool and sanding stick to get a good finish. 3D pin print finishing is a tough job. Oops, I should not have used a marker on the plastic in 
the first place it seems. Well, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed the video and prepare yourself for a lot more to come. Until the next episode.